We're joined now by South Carolina Attorney General Alan Wilson. Uh, General Wilson, thank you for joining us this morning. You said last night in your statement that this verdict proves that no one is above the law, the position and power don't matter. What does this mean for South Carolina? First off, George, I want to say thank you to the men and women of our office, SLED, and other law enforcement agencies. Without their hard, effortless work, this would not have occurred. What this says uh, to the people of South Carolina, many people who question the criminal justice system and that it doesn't apply fairly and equally to all people, well, here today we are here to say that it does, that no one is above the law in South Carolina. And when you brutally murder uh, your wife and son, you will be held accountable no matter who you are. But were you surprised by how quickly the jury reached a verdict? Obviously, I, I, I didn't know what to think. Obviously, when I heard they were going to come back within three, four hours, it felt like it was a good sign for us because, I mean, six weeks of testimony and three, four hours later, you find out you're getting a verdict. I was pleasantly surprised. I didn't know what to think. You never want to get out in front of your skis and, and make an assumption about what a jury's going to do. I respect the process too much uh, to be that confident, but I was guardedly optimistic when they came back as quickly as they did. Was it that video that made the difference? I believe the video, I think Alec's voice, obviously, I think Alec taking the stand. I mean, he's been uh, weaving a tangled web of lies for decades. And I think, you know, he, he for so long, he has been able to manipulate people and bend them to his will because he's so good at what he does. And George, as you, as you heard in the testimony, he was a master at manipulating and, and communicating with juries. And I believe when he took the stand, that was his cl last closing argument. He had done this for so long, he believed that he could get what he wanted out of this jury. And I think when he took the stand, he confirmed for many of those jurors what they had heard in that video, that he was a liar. What's your response to the criticism of how the South Carolina Law Enforcement Division handled the crime scene? First off, when you look at the complexity and the thousands of pieces of evidence and all that goes into this case, anyone that wants to come in and criticize law enforcement, um, I, I just think you got to put yourself there in the moment. In order for there to be a second guesser, there has to be a first guesser. When you're arriving on the scene and when you're doing things in real time and things are fluid and complex and you're moving a thousand miles an hour, you know, obviously you, it's easy to go back and say you should have done this or you could have done that when you're second guessing. But I want to say thank you to SLED and the FBI and the Secret Service. Service and, and so many other agencies that were so supportive of the Carlton County Sheriff's Office. They made this conviction possible. And, you know, our team leader, Creighton, um, that I assigned this case to, and all of the uh, young men and women who were working on this case, they made this conviction possible. And I want to give all the credit to them. What do you want to see happening at sentencing? Um, well, right now it hasn't occurred yet, so I don't want to make any comments regarding sentencing. Obviously, we will we will um, speak in court as to what the state wants to do. But what we wanted uh, to send a message, not just to the citizens of South Carolina, but we wanted to send a citizens to everyone who's been following this trial for so long, is that this has become a sensational case. It's got it's grabbed the attention of the world. But at the end of the day. Um, Two people were brutally murdered. They lost their lives. A family was destroyed. A legacy uh, was torn asunder. And there's been a wake of victims going back decades. And we want to put the attention on them and let them know that their voice can be heard. General, thanks very much for your time this morning. And all of you at home can tune in tonight for a special 2020 on the Murdoch Family Murders with exclusive new interviews. That's at 9, 8 Central, right here on ABC. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.